This video is sponsored by Bityard. With over 400 cryptocurrencies to choose from on their spot exchange, dozens of USDT pairs for futures trading, perpetual coin futures, trade commodities like gold, silver and oil, Forex and major indices like Nasdaq. You can buy crypto from Bityard with over 50 different fiat currencies using Visa, Mastercard, Google or Apple Pay. If you like, you can use their copy trade facility, follow other traders who will execute trades on your behalf or become a copy trader yourself. So if you want a bit of that, click the link in the description. Hello everybody, welcome back. We're going to have a look at Hex, something I've never looked at before, but um, I don't know if anyone remembers uh, Ivan from Bitsgap, but he's got his own channel where he just bangs on about Hex all the time, so I thought I'd have a little look to see what the big deal is. It doesn't trade on any of the um, any of the exchanges that I like to use, but I thought I'd have a look anyway, see what, see what all the big fuss is about. I know it was quite popular before, and I suppose because it's on loads of small exchanges, like literally, like crap exchanges but gets not too bad uh, but uh, it, you know, it, it begs the question maybe one day it'll become listed on other exchanges which means that there will be promotions involved and more liquidity so there's always that hopium around the corner right so what we see here is we see nice divergence, uh, bullish divergence on the RSI here. We've also got turning up on the MACD. So a lot, a lot of momentum shifting to the up. And it's actually had a decent little rally from its absolute low to its to its peak over here. You can't really complain at that. It's over 50, 55% basically from the bottom to the top. For those who caught the bottom, uh, would you have tried to catch that bottom? Did it have historical relevance to it? You could probably argue that it, that it, that it would have done. You can see that it corresponds to these tops over here as well. These, um, uh, yeah, these tops and this top as well. So more or less, uh, there's historical relevance to it. So traders are stepping in on this one. They do want it uh, for what it's worth. I don't know. What, honestly, I don't know what the big deal is, but it seemed to have had its moment in the spotlight, and there is people that are interested in it. So let's have a look at how it performed on this consolidation. So this is a very steep uh, drop. So consolidation broke down from there. Uh, a further consolidation broke down from here, and then this breakout formed a nice a nice move basically from from the breakout moment so say again we're talking in like ascending tri descending triangle formation which is what we see here and that works out pretty well when you measure that from the measured move as well so uh, this is like textbook trading stuff so you measure that from the breakout where did we go we didn't quite get to the peak but we came quite close uh, from here to here we missed out on a further 10 percent but that's nothing really when you compare it to uh, the, the actual size of that breakout uh, from bottom to top it's 127 percent move so i can see why people like it and definitely i can i can i can, I can see the uh, see the appeal to this uh, as in like it, it does gain quite high now i don't know what the market cap is it must be relatively small i don't know what the trading 24 hour trading volume is i can't imagine it being too high to form these style of moves so again we've got another consolidation pattern here breaking down from here broke down to this this ascending triangle was void come back into the larger picture of the consolidation uh, as, again another ascending triangle came down to the bottom of the support came up to the top and then finally broke out and now we're having a breakout so what you could do is again yet yeah, another measure move from the top over here down to the bottom to give us a rough estimation of where this is going to move to and again this does point to this previous peak being hit uh, and so that this little area here is just a temporary pit stop uh, when it comes to uh, uh, a, uh, a breakout you know so we would be looking for this to, to move on uh, to a, you know probably to at least its peak here so we're talking 22 cents really 22 cents so yeah we're, we're, we're finding a natural resistance at this moment in time and then probably mosey on through so we'll turn on all our indicators nice and noisy for you all there get rid of all this stuff so again this comes into an exact area at the top of the Bollinger Band and this 50 exponential moving average again you know on the daily chart we're not particularly bullish as far as its setup is concerned I'm not going to say that this is a, a continuous uptrend. You can't really say that. I mean, it's not. Uh, we'll bring it down to a four hourly to see how that looks. So we've just, again, just this moment, uh, as in this four hourly today, is so reclaimed the 200 uh, exponential on a four hourly. This is really early days. You compare this to a lot of other altcoins, you know, surprisingly you know, unpopular altcoins like EOS and, and, and whatever, XRP. In fact, the, the vast majority of altcoins actually at this stage now have reclaimed the 200 exponential and some of them even forming golden crosses and actual effective uptrends. And you compare that to, to Bitcoin, in fact, and Bitcoin's, you know, really powering through and you've got a setup way more bullish than that. We've actually got a golden cross and we're trending up again. You know, we had our golden cross dumped into it, moving, moving, moving up. And it actually looks like, to be honest with you, I put myself out on a, out on a limb here here but suggest that it does want to have a, an actual break out so but we'll, we'll see what happens again you know, i made a video today about that so if it breaks out today then so be it 
Hex, um, being the altcoin that it appears to be, um, is is tr struggling to, to to create an actual you know uptrend. Effectively, what we're looking at overall, if we just on, on, if we put it on the bigger picture, turn off all the noise. Uh, what, what we see is effectively a giant consolidation, really, a, a giant consolidation from the bottom, from the top to the bottom. Uh, and do we have m don't really have enough divergence, really? Again, you know, this is something that's quite interesting when looking at all these other altcoins. They they have an enormous divergence on the MACD on the weekly. Some of them even forming their positive tick on the histogram. You know, so Hex is lagging behind all the others. That doesn't mean that it's that the, on on a risk to reward basis or you know the the overall potential from the bottom to the top isn't great it just means that it's lagging behind all the others so you could take that as an opportunity you could you could say all right well all these other altcoins are moving you know or, or i should say moving this is moved already but all these other altcoins have better setups so why not choose them yeah i i would make the case that you would you would probably choose them over this uh but then i suppose if we do a long-term con uh, consolidation pattern similar to this on a weekly then this looks like this is the make or break zone so this is the most bullish you can get on this right now i'd say and it's a hopium style and again measured move just like the ones we've done on these shorter term time frame breakouts this would suggest that if we broke out from here this points to a new all-time high now give or take uh, give or take just remember <laughs> just remember that and that points to a tasty 267 percent move doesn't mean it's going to do that immediately but that's what it points to so there is rhythm to this chart there, there is definitely rhythm the, the the lack of momentum is the thing that kind of would uh, deter me from going into it like anything you want to trade a breakout not the moment that it breaks out but a breakout and arguably a breakout and a retest of either here or back down to here that would be fine because the general vibe of the major consolidation has ended so overall Overall, this is to keep your eye on, and I can see what the appeal to it, and there's definitely opportunity in this. But for the moment, it's lagging behind all the other charts, and uh, at this very second, this very moment in time, I think it's done its business for the moment. We've seen this before, coming down to a support, break up to the top of the consolidation, back down again and further down, down to the bottom of consolidation, up to the top of the... So right now, this is like a no-trade zone. Definitely wouldn't want to trade this here. This could be potentially the top and then it comes back down to the bottom or it could break out and then move all the way up or it could break out, come down to this support, move up or it could break out, come down to this support, which would be the perfect thing. That's what you'd want. You'd want to see a deeper retest of the of the horizontal level of the lowest support. Now, I'm not saying that that's most likely to happen, but that would be something that I would be interested in. I would be getting myself a, uh, a BitGet account. I think I probably already got one, but I, I would be looking at that and going, well, to be honest, at this stage now, I think the risk to reward on this would be too good not to miss. And you'd be looking for, you know, potential full on retrace all the way up to the top, maybe. But on a risk to reward basis, it would be better to wait for one of these or these to be retested once the breakout's confirmed. At the moment, there's no breakout. But again, I see the appeal. I do see the appeal. If it were only tradable on other exchanges, I would see the appeal a lot more. The lack of liquidity is, is, is the main problem. But it doesn't mean that it's the end of the world. I mean, uh, you know, we, we trade low volume, low liquidity all, all the time. It just means you can't end up, you can't be a, a whale on it. I'd have to check the volume on, on things. So a bit gets not small. So maybe maybe it does trade relatively well. Right, I'll leave it with you there. I thought it'd be a little interesting addition. But if you're interested in more of these sort of things, feel free to join the Patreon channel. We do live streams twice a week, doing one tonight. We look at all kinds of altcoins or anything, stocks, whatever you want. Um, right, thanks for watching. Take it easy.